Today, we're gonna be getting up every single fit tier farm in just one game, all right? I've done this before on the channel and you guys seem to like it. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. All right, boys, so we're going against Jacob Rowan on the map mine and I'm using open. Dartling farm spike factory, all right? And we're gonna be immediately starting off actually with the Dartling Gunner as our first popping power tower, okay? So let's get down the map. And of course, we are also space equaling because our main source of money is going to be coming from our farms, okay? And also too, it's a good thing that we're space equaling because this guy's going bog and we're on mine, boys. Mine is a late game map. So most likely, this guy is going a bomb village strategy. And now we have that life advantage. Although I already intended to rush this guy. Did he go middle path? He did. He went for a middle path on that. A bomb there okay so not sure why you want to go for a mob mauler so early on i don't think that's the way to go boys okay <laughs> but you guys already know we're trying to showcase every single fit tier farm upgrade of course on the banana farm okay because we've already done individual videos on each and every upgrade but i have yet to get every single one up in a single game so i think this will be a fun video because farms dude i've absolutely been having so much fun recently using them okay and oh he's gonna be freaking power boosting to the space yellows yeah he needed to go for a cluster bomb instead and by the way i greeted for this 200 farm here so yikes 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 oh yeah we're gonna be tanking some lives here but that's okay if he wants that life advantage i don't even care because i'm going to rush him way before round 40 ends okay so yeah we actually did tank quite a bit of lives down to 78 now but he's slowly but surely also leaking too okay so he needs to go for a cluster bomb again oh he's gonna go for churchill you know what? With Churchill, he's probably actually going to be fine. Okay, so well done. But I am going with the Spike Factory, by the way, just to switch up things a little bit. Dartling Farm Ninja is currently one of the best strategies in the game. So if you want a good strategy, definitely go with that. Although Spike Factory, it's not bad, but if you compare it to the Ninja as of right now, hate to say it, but the Ninja is definitely the better tower, okay? But I feel like the strategy could work out pretty nicely still if we have enough Spike Storms on the map for DDTs because the Dartling Gunner it's not the greatest for DDT defenses, okay? Unless we have MAD, but like MAD can pop off those DDT layers, but not the ceramics underneath. Like MAD is not good against ceramic balloons. So we're gonna have the spike factory come into play for those balloons. I'm gonna try to go for, by the way, just one more 200 farm. And then we're gonna try to go for Oban after that, okay? And oh my God, this guy has a super monkey all the way at the start of the map. No shot. That is actually hilarious, boys. Okay, so we're going to go for Oban literally all the way up here because I want his trees ability to give us money during these later game rounds, okay? And here he comes at us with some yellows as well, okay? So we're probably going to have to go for another Dartling, unfortunately. I didn't want to do that yet because I wanted to go for a marketplace, but it is what it is. We need to make sure that we can defend. Can I defend with just this current setup? No shot I can, right? But we're doing pretty good, so maybe we can wow darling gunner on this map it's just built freaking different okay so i'm gonna try to greed here for marketplace not the smartest decision because it is pretty greedy of me but i think we can get away with it okay and also too we're gonna keep both of these darling gunners up normally recently when i've used uh darling farm strategies i would sell my bottom path darling in order to go for a hydro rocket pods but this time around we're, we're not going to be doing that boys we're gonna have both darlings on the map just to ensure that we have even better defenses um, for these mid-game rounds, okay? And we're about to be able to go for this Hydra Rocket Pods here, so let's finally go for that. Perfect. Wait, did we leak a life? We did. <laughs> it is all good. Wait, this guy has literally no camo attack. F's in the chat for that. I won't send you any camo balloons, my friend, but make sure to eventually get up camo defenses, please. I think he's maybe trying to send me another rush, but I'm just going to go for another marketplace anyway. Oh, there's a ceramic balloon in there? Yeah, good thing that we kept this other Dartling Gunner because if he's going to be this aggressive, having this other Dartling Gunner is actually going to help us out quite a bit. Eventually, he will get camera detection too, by the way, on Churchill, but Churchill can only do so much for him, you know? And now we got three marketplaces for round 14. I feel like things are going pretty well so far. We're going to sell two of them in order to go for a central market here in a second, okay? So we could probably actually do that right now. So let's go with that awesome okay and now we want to try to go for brf which is a banana research facility which is the top path upgrade on the farm okay and finally he went for a village all right also a bottom path village so now he's going to be getting even more money from sending eco too don't know why he's only sending greens though he should be full sending yellows here and it's round 17 so he could easily send us a mob class balloon if he wants but i honestly think our current setup could defend against normal mobs now fortified might be a little bit of a different story so if he ends up sending us fortified 
we're gonna have to go for a three zero zero spike balls if not more than that okay so let's just hope and pray that he doesn't because i really want to go for this brf as early as possible oh my god he sold his bomb he sold his bomb boys he might be sending us one here no he's gonna go for another village okay that is like the last thing that i expected because his defenses are not good i was right about the bomb village strategy by the way okay at least he's going for like a mob assassin and stuff that's good to see because i i just want to make sure that this guy can defend you know and round 20 is here i mean the ai mob is going to be coming out so let's see if i was right about our current defenses being able to defend against this okay and we can't go for the monkey wall street unfortunately just yet but we are in fact super super close holy crap look at that it did push quite a bit, but a defend is a defend at the end of the day, okay? So, before round 21 ends, we want to make sure that we sell this in order to go for the Monkey Wall Street. Because uh, Monkey Wall Street, it gives you $10,000 at the start of every single round, okay? So, let's sell that now. Perfection, boys. And now we can go for trees so we can get some money from that as well. And I'm going to start trying to spam now some BRFs, okay? And then eventually, we want to go for a Banana Central, which is top half hits your upgrade. And then we'll find time to also fit in uh, the middle path bits here, okay? I don't know when I want to go for that, but we'll make sure to go with that eventually. Oh my god, Fortify Ceramics here. Are we good? Are we good? Wait, don't tell me at the tower boost this. We literally... That, oh my god! We leaked down so low! What in the world? <laughs> Holy... All right, so I'm going to go for one more BRF, and then we're going to start stacking up our money in order to go for the Banana Central. But man, oh man... I literally almost choked to AI. How depressing is that? That is really, really depressing. So we're going to have to go then for a spike ball, spike battery, because that specifically is pretty good against ceramic balloons. And the Hydro Rocket Pots and the, the Dartling Gunner as a whole kind of struggles with ceramics, okay? So once we get that up, hopefully we'll be chilling even more. And I also went for a Spike Storm here, by the way, because it's about to be round 26. So this guy could easily send us a DDT if he wants to but one spike storm should be fine against space ddts now group ddts that's going to be a completely different story okay but let's sell both of these now let's go for the banana central awesome 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 and i'm gonna try to spam the absolute crap out of 420 farms and as you guys can see our farm game is looking absolutely immaculate right now oh my god look at all these purples that he's sending us though that is no bueno can you please stop that i might even go for a carbon spikes oh my god i'm about to dude holy full sending freaking purples here actually making a struggle let's go for the carpet of spikes man oh my god i didn't think that was going to give us that much issues man holy okay so i'd rather be safe than sorry you know like we could have invested that 40k into farms but i don't want to choke this game after making it this far you know we we don't want to do that so i guess now with how many uh, research facilities we have it's probably best if you start going for the middle path fits your upgrade okay so it's the monkey nomics that cost 50k and unfortunately like it's pretty good because it gives 20k per minute if you guys did not know debt free by the way uh the imf loan it is a loan so it does put you in debt but the fifth tier does not and the ability comes back every minute so that's pretty cool uh, but it is looked at as one of the worst fifth tiers okay so pretty unfortunate but we were able to go for it, which is awesome. And I guess we're going to continue on spamming BRFs. We got so much money that round. But we also have to make sure, too, that our defenses are, like, kind of good. Because he could always rush us as well, boys. So now we can pretty much all out him whenever we want, by the way. So I guess we'll fill up the rest of the map with BRFs. And then we'll better our defenses a little bit more. Go for an MAD, a few more spike storms as well. Just in case if he wants to counter with DDTs. Because he could always easily do that. And if we have enough spike storms on the map... We should hopefully be fine, but that is about every single farm spot that we can get up here on this map, which is pretty insane. Wait, maybe one more up here? No, we cannot. Okay, that's still fine. We could probably go for another one down here if we sold a Darling Gunner, but it's really not that big of a deal. We still have so much money coming in. It's not even funny, boys, okay? So now let's prioritize going for some Spike Storms, okay? And I mean, look at our side now. We literally have our side absolutely filled with the farms okay and his side's pretty good too don't get me wrong but i'm gonna be able to send him a crap ton of bad so it's going to be a pretty hard defend because i'm talking like it's going to be like over 20 bad so can he even defend against 20 bad's i don't think so ladies and gentlemen okay but there we go with another monkey nomics we have the mad on the map as well we could even go for the ray of doom if we really wanted to but like is that really necessary let's actually go you know what i'm gonna sell this and I'm going to go for a bottom path, Darling Gunner, a BEZ, because 
it's pretty cool we'll target it to independent as well because this could actually help us out against those ceramic balloons underneath all the mob layers all right but let's start sending him spaced four to five BADs, okay because he does have the mob models or the mob assassins i'm sorry so uh we can incline him to use all those abilities and then we'll start sending grouped okay because if we send them all at the same time those mob assassins can actually do a ton of damage to every single bad okay but it's already starting to look pretty bad for him and look at our side boys we literally have so much more money still it's not even funny dude th this is insane let me just sell all these like we don't even need these anymore dude look at this boys i'm just gonna full send now what in the world man he's gonna try to counter with ddt's which is exactly why i had the spike storms on their side oh ooh. oh my god that was almost really really bad that was almost really really bad holy crap okay i'm gonna use a few more spike storms holy i love the spike factory but man oh man was that close i don't even know how many vads i sent him but he didn't even come close to defending so that is how op it is when you get up every single bit to your farm in a single game so gg's only and if you haven't already make sure to check out this video where we use this two hundred and forty thousand dollars super monkey that makes you invincible and no that is not clickbait